Hi guys. It's me Aries. We have a new Call of Duty mobile video. Before I start, make sure to give this a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell button to keep you updated. Let's get started. In today's video we are talking about the second week qualifying for tournament solo on Garena server. On the global server they are ahead of the Garena, for Garena players are delayed or we are late for qualifying week. But that's okay. Today is May 14, the second week qualifying for tournaments has begun. I know you experience some bugs, I also have experience that this need to be fixed right away. Many bugs have appeared on COD Mobile, but they need to prioritize these tournaments as well. Because if they continue not fixing this many bugs or glitches that we are all experienced now, they will lose many players, and I'm sure with that. Not only will we talk about the tournament, I will also give you random tips that may help you. Let's talk about the bugs that I encountered and other players have experienced, because I see many players complain in the group that I belong in COD Mobile that even though they play the rank and win the game it doesn't count. I know guys that it take one minute to generate the data before showing up. But the thing is they played multiple times and again it did not show on the process bar. If you notice on the left side of the screen, it say that it took three hours to refresh data. But in my case I played 9 times and I won 7 times and 2 loses. Only 3 games count, but the rest of my game it did not show. I've been waiting for 2 hours. I'll update you later if my data shows, I'll just post it on my community tab, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell button. I'm qualified to join this second week, because I complete the 80 points on first week of qualifiers. The first week it was okay I didn't encountered bugs, it's about 1 minute to show my data result per win, but now it's stopped in 3 games, even though I played multiple times. This is really annoying. They said in their community update that they will fix the bugs, but nothing is happening. What's going on COD Mobile? Hopefully they put a report option on the Garena server so we can report this. Even I refreshed the page, but nothing happened. I waited 2 hours but it did not show. I do not know what to do. I tried to go to their website to report, but I don't get any answers because I can't message them. While I'm editing this video today, I still looking if something has changed but nothing. I don't know when it will be appeared in my process bar. I'm gonna interrupt you a little bit because 94.2 aren't subscribed yet. Come on guys. Make sure to subscribe and I upload daily about Call of Duty Mobile. Let's hit 5000 subscribers before the end of this year. We can make it. I know we can reach that milestone. So be sure to subscribe and turn on our notification bell button. Let's get back to our main topic. Have you formed a team in the final tournament? If you ask me, I don't have a team yet, but I have plans to make a team, but not now. If you want to join my team in tournament make sure you're above 18 years old and competitive to play. I want to have a serious team mates even if we don't win, just to be in the top 30 and to get the rewards. As long as you're from Philippines you can join my team or only playing on Garena. Whatever your gender, that's okay. If you want just add me. And other players I see that they have no problems with the second week tournaments. For more information, you can still join the second week, even if you didn't reach 80 points in the first week of tournament, that was other players said. Please kindly confirm whether this is true or not. But I think you can still participate even if you didn't reach 80 points for the following weeks. You still have a chance to join in the next few weeks. And you can still participate in the tournament with team. If you have a bug encountered, comment below. I'm still going to try to report to them to fix it immediately. It's unfair in some players because others don't have bugs and we have a problem on it. Hopefully they will fix this and all the bugs that destroying the game. Now I'm done talking about the tournaments. So now I'm giving a tips for you to be a successful player in COD Mobile. I hope you'll still watching until here. Don't skip it yet, stay right there. Here's my few tips for you. When at hard point or domination there should be one or two players guarding the area, and the three members will be clear all the enemy to prevent them from approaching the area. Always use your tactical and lethal equipment wisely, especially if someone inside the building hiding. Try to not to rush or running in the middle of the match, walk through the buildings so they can't see you. If you want them to attack. Always be your sight on teammates, don't go solo because you don't have a backup if enemies shooting on you. Don't use a character skin that too bright or too sharp from the eye of your enemies. Whatever skin you use is still based on your luck. Turn the brightness up. 
The brighter the better, so turn off auto brightness, turn up the levels, and make sure night mode or the blue light filter isn't on, as it will skew the visuals. Choose your weapons wisely. The loadout you carry determines what you enter the game with, and this will change based on the map and game type you're playing. You can't hide in multiplayer. While you can stay out of sight or find a corner or building to lurk in. Take out enemy aircraft score streaks. The stealth chopper and toll can really damage your team, but you can shoot them down. Work as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Fight with your team and you'll easily win. Watch your ammo. There are loads of different weapons, but you can rinse through your ammo really quickly. Keep an eye on how much you have. That's all guys, I hope I can give you some tips for you to improve your skills and thinking for COD Mobile. Thank you for watching. By the way shout out to this guy. Thank you for being part of my channel and for turning on our notification bell button. Thank you and God bless. If you want to be shout out all you have to do is subscribe and turn on the notification bell button, after you did that, just comment on. That's all guys. Other than that, it's me Aries and I'm out.